is live this morning out of Roseville where this all unfolded. Good morning to you, Jordan. Good morning. That's right. We are here in Roseville. And like you mentioned, Hulisa, yesterday afternoon, the Roseville police put out that uh, alert looking for 97 year old Glenetta. They had helicopters circling around. And like you mentioned, we got some hometown heroes, 10 and 11 year old kids from the area who saved the day and found our 97 year old lady who was uh, roaming the streets here. And guess what? We found them right behind me, so we are lucky to be talking with these hometown heroes. So let's introduce us uh, to our Good Day crowd. Your name, please, and your age. McKenna, and I'm 10. 10 years old, McKenna. Cash, and I'm not, uh, 10. 10, all right. Cash? I'm Logan, and I'm 10. Logan? My name's Hope, and I'm 11. And we are so proud of all of you for stepping up. We know the entire community was out here looking for Lynetta, but you folks were the ones to find her. So quickly tell us, how did this all start? You heard the helicopters going around, right? So uh, how it started is me and Hope, we were playing at my house because we're all friends. We play usually every day. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to go to the park, and we saw, like, uh, police officers through the whole school. We thought something like a teacher had got shot, something bad happened. And then the helicopter started coming around and it said about the woman missing. And so we went home uh, and told Cashton and Logan about it. So you guys actually play, uh, you folks are neighbors, you guys play along here, you all grab your bikes and you went looking for 97-year-old Glenetta. Mm -hmm. What was going through your minds and did you folks know what she looked like when you were looking for her? Uh, yeah. uh, not really. Not yet? But then someone sent you a photo, right? Uh, yes, um, Hope and Cashton's dad. Okay, so when you were folks were roaming the streets, roaming the parks, tell us the moment you saw uh, Glenetta and went up to her. How did that happen? Well, first of all, we were down at Cooley. We were biking down this hill. And my bike flipped over. We had to come back. Uh oh. And then my somebody helped me. Yeah, brother. Patch me up. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went back out and we found her. Just walking around, talking to her. Wow. How did that so. feel? Hope, you know, you folks here, just neighborhood kids, riding your bike, trying to help out uh, the, the police department here. How did it feel that moment all four of you worked together as a team and found uh, Miss Glennett out there? It felt good. Yeah? yeah? You folks all have a story to tell? Mm -hmm. A good story to tell. Yeah. Yeah, well, we are so proud of you folks. And they were so, uh, so nice and kind, allowing us to come out here on their bikes. You guys have a name you guys want to call yourselves? Oh, the Avengers Assemble. Oh, Avengers <laughs> Assemble. All right. They are saving the day out here in Roseville. So if you are on the hunt looking for anybody, hey, we got a great group of kids out here uh, inspiring all the youth out there that no matter how old you are, you can get out there and make a difference, right? Yeah. All right. Good job. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Could they oh, they're be proud any family cuter? members and friends out there. Oh, yeah. Oh my I might need my bike myself. They should be very proud of all of them. That is fantastic. We're so glad to hear that Glenetta is home safe.